Hi everybody, I'm Tessie, and this is Homestead Tessie. I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning up the house, and then I'm gonna go work out in the chicken house, and I'll see you guys way out there. I'm ready to start cleaning the chicken house. When the mailman came, and a dear, sweet, close friend of mine sent me a small little care package. Now she's going to stay anonymous, but I want to thank her so much for the lipstick and for the herb. It was a little thing to put herbs, to strip the herbs off the leaves. But since we're outside and we're working, I'm going to open this up. I don't know what it is, but I know it is something in the form of a plant. So we're going to open it up and we're going to see how it looks. Okay. It came out really good. Oh my. It's so sweet ever. I smell it and it's perfect. She got me my favorite of all time herbs in the whole entire world. It looks perfect. I cannot believe she shipped it here. Priority mail, but it is perfect. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I just love the smell of lemon verbena. 38 degrees, so I'm going to keep this in the greenhouse and then I'll plant it out. Thank you so much for my mask, dear sir. You're welcome. Say hello. Hello, everybody. So what I'm doing is I'm cleaning the chicken house, but I am wearing a mask because we use the cardboard shavings and that can produce a lot of dust. Thank you so much, my dear friend. And I am so super duper excited for it. Oh, <laughs> oh I almost threw this out. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and wash this and use this. I love it. I love it with the navy blue. Okay, make sure I got everything there. All right, I'm gonna go put this in the house so I can wash it. And then we're going to go out into the chicken house. We're gonna clean it up, gather my eggs, and then say goodbye to this video. All right, I got my mask, I got my basket. I'll meet you out in the chicken house. All right, now, oh, it's getting so like a wilderness back here. And I know I gotta trim this, but I love, this is a fence row, rose. So we call them a fence row rose. And it's a wild rose, but they have beautiful rose hips. And so, I know, I need to clean it up, but I just love, how it's like a wilderness back here. It's very private too. Very private. I am sitting here because I do not feel like doing this. <laughs> oh, we got Nanny, we got Mildred. <sighs> Nanny is in here. How do I know my chickens apart? Well, I only know them apart by their attitudes. So each chicken has its own personality. So that's how I know them apart. Um, there's a few chickens that don't want nothing really to do with me and I know that that is not Mildred or Nanny and Mildred and Nanny you often meet here talk about because I know who Mildred and Nanny are so <laughs> and yes they're the same names of the chickens that died yes we have Sophia uh, my subscribers named my chickens all but Na all but Mildred and Nanny they named Sophia, they named um, Sunny, they, na they named all the other ones. So, okay, let's get started and get this done because I am not getting any more motivated by I'm sitting here. Cardboard, I need to explain this to you. Cardboard shavings are extremely dusty and they're not good for your lungs. So if you're going to be shredding cardboard, do that outside, please do that outside because it's not a good thing to do inside. Now people ask me all kinds of questions about these Amazon boxes. I contacted Amazon. They said 100% all of it's com compostable. The ink is made by soy. Listen, I'm just going by what they told me. And I love it. It's great for my gardens. In fact, you can't even see it in my garden anymore. And I'll show you that here in a minute because people have been asking. So let's go ahead and let's get to work. Ooh, masks are hot. Okay, now 
Time to put the clean bedding in. And it's heavy. By doing this, it pretty much pays for my thrifty Thursdays. I wondered why we don't cover the top of the chicken house anymore. Well, we don't have to. Our chickens are adults now, and Hawk won't get them. Hawk will only go after them if they're babies, at least in our area. My chickens are so heavy, a hawk would have a hard time grabbing one, even though it could if it wanted to. So we have some leftovers for supper. My wash is on the line. Thrifty Thursday was fun. And now I just gotta plant this one pack of garden seeds. Oh, I just love days like this when you're not so busy and you can actually just enjoy each moment of the day. I have this one little spot right here at the garden, which will be perfect for some wildflowers. I gotta make sure I get dirt though. I should have had my ground shovel. And we have some dandelions. The chickens love dandelions, so we're gonna cut a couple out for the chickens. Well, everyone, my work is done. My house is clean. I'm gonna go in the house and get this edited and right out to all of you. Take care, everyone, and like I always say, what do I say? I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you do enjoy my videos, thank you. You don't have to do anything. In the world of YouTube where everyone tells you you need to like something, you need to subscribe, I'm telling you, you don't need to do any of that. I'm just glad that you're watching my videos and I'm glad that you're a part of my life. See you guys again tomorrow. Hi everybody, it's me, Homestead Tessie, and we're gonna have a product review today of these tiny little bees. So these are beautiful for all kinds of art projects. So we have the really small ones and then we have the medium sized ones. So let's take one out and show you what they look like. These are perfect for all of your scrapbooking or art supplies. I just got done making this beautiful beehive. We're gonna go ahead and use my hot glue gun and we're gonna glue these on and make it really cute. So this is what it looks like. We have the bees like this. Let me see if I can bring it up really close for you to see. There you go, everyone. It's so cute. Let me go ahead and let's glue this on and then I'll show you what it looks like. So we're just gonna take some glue to the back of these bees. 